Hey guys, how's it going? Markel here, back with another video. So I should be on vacation by the time these series of videos come out because I'm gonna try to do at least uh, three, maybe four videos pre-recorded and they're gonna be just released day after day on a certain time. But in this first one, I wanna talk about side hustles uh, because we talked about uh, veterans only being on 100% and only getting like 36, 15, I can't remember what it was, but I'll put it up here somewhere. And uh, different things that some of you guys may be able to do to increase your income. Now it will help if you are in a major city or you're close to a major city, there are far more opportunities than being in rural USA, but these are some things that you can do also if you're in rural USA. So I'm gonna name a few and then I'll make a part two to this and uh, talk about that later, all right? So I would say, and I've mentioned this many times before, CWT, compensated work therapy, is my number one thing I will tell veterans um, who are disabled, you're, you're limited in what you can do. This is a way, even if you're on TDIU, not on TDIU, you're on TDIU SD, SSDI, 100% SSDI, where it does not matter because this is considered therapy, not work. You're being paid tax-free. It does not get any better than that. If you're just trying to make extra money, uh, a few hundred dollars every week, or um, you wanna pay a certain bill, or you're saving for a vacation or whatever, this is a way to do it. Compensated work therapy, my number one thing. Okay, here's another one for people, whether you're in a rural area, major city, whatever, uh, you guys are somewhat computer savvy because you're online watching YouTube right now. I would say a virtual store. Start with something simple like eBay. Uh, you may have some things in your house that you want to get rid of that are no longer valuable to you that may be valuable to someone else. So what you can do is post those things on eBay, uh, set it at a certain amount. Now, anytime you're doing a store, and it is still considered passive income because you're not doing anything but posting it. Uh, there are tax implications depending on how much you're selling, right? There are tax implications. So dealing with that type of situation, there's taxes involved. So I don't know how much or some of you all would like to get involved in that depending on how much you sell and where you're selling it at. Each state is different the way they do their taxes. Uh, but that's an idea for some of you guys is a virtual store. Uh, eBay is free to set up. You can sell products on eBay. Uh, Amazon, I think there's a small fee that you have to uh, deposit with Amazon in order to do that with Amazon. But for the most part, a virtual store, uh, or, or you can you know post it locally. Uh, I don't know if Craigslist is still a thing. It used to be where you can post on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. Uh, you can actually order products from a company like Alibaba. Uh, which is a wholesaler and their stuff is super cheap. You can post stuff on there. Or again, with Facebook Marketplace, things that you already have in your house that you haven't used, you wanna get rid of, boom, there's your opportunity to do it, all right? And then the last one I wanna speak of real quick, and like I said, I'm gonna do another video speaking of some more of these, is uh, this app that's called Draver. Is it Draver? I think it's Draver, and I'll have the app, what it looks like up here. And what it is, is sort of like what Mike was talking about, where you don't need a CDL with this, you just need a driver's license and be able to pass a background check. From my understanding, you don't even need to have a vehicle, right? So you could be someone who picks up vehicles from like dealers or rental car places and just deliver it to another location and then actually have a Uber pick you up and take you back home. You can have the Uber pick you up from where you are and take you back to wherever you came from, okay? Uh, sounds like a great app. Uh, I've seen many YouTubers talk about this. And because for me, I always look at situations like, okay, if I'm going back to the States, what are some things I could take advantage of? Because in the United States, there are a lot of things we can take advantage of that you can make money in the United States so easily, especially if you have the right connections. Uh, in Phoenix, I was fortunate enough to run a successful business where I made a lot of great connections. Uh, I have a lot of family who are entrepreneurs in Phoenix, so 
I'm able to still maintain a lot of those connections and talk to a lot of people where there are a lot of different opportunities that I could take advantage of personally going back to Arizona. But for those of you out there, your veterans, hey, you got your battle buddies, you got uh, people, sergeants or whoever you worked with in the past. I don't know if you kept in contact with any of these people, but those are great resources for some of you guys who are looking to do may, maybe do something part time or maybe do something with the government where you're your own entrepreneur with a 1099 or, um, you know, you have another opportunity with someone to become a business partner or a venture, uh, whatever it may be. But there are so many different ways to do it. Sometimes you just have to sit down, take a moment and really think about what it is you want to do and then move forward from there. But there are a lot of opportunities out there for a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys have skills uh, from when you were in the military, out of the military, jobs that you've done before. Uh, I would say something like, for example, where Howard. Howard is into fitness. Howard could do something where he has a YouTube channel showing fitness, but he could also sell courses online for a small fee. Like I can show you how to build, you know, your shoulders up, your arms up, you just take my class on my course and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, the same with some of you other guys, man, like when it comes to drinking and you guys making suggestions about alcohol and uh, what types of drinks you mix, mix with what and, and the best way to get it at the best price, right? Uh, sometimes, you know, just being a mentor and talking to people, people will actually pay you, right, just to be like a life coach or someone to just talk to when they need to talk to. Bruh, th there's some stuff out there I never even thought of, right? Where you're just on YouTube, you're like searching for something and then something will pop up and you go like, wow. So you mean to tell me my man is getting paid. He's not a psychiatrist. He's not a professional at all. He's what you call a life coach. And basically people will reach out to him after they're having a bad day at work they will pay them between 50 and hundred dollars for an hour for them to just sit there and vent their frustration about whatever it is, work, life, wife, whatever. Right. And I'm like, wow. So people are actually just getting paid to just listen. That's a thing. I mean, <laughs> that's a thing. Uh, sometimes, you know, for some of you guys who are really computer savvy, you know, being a virtual assistant, things like that. But in the next video, I'll go a little bit more in depth and talk about the nomad life, right? Where you're not even really traveling. You're doing the same things, but you're doing them at home. So this is just part one of side hustles and maybe something I'm saying and offering may give you an idea about something else you would like to do, like YouTube, for example, uh, as a passive income stream. But I'll talk about that more in the next section of this in part two, but this is part one, guys. Hey, I appreciate everybody watching as always. And until the next time, guys, I'm out of here. Peace, enjoy the rest of your day.